So, a lot of fans have been a bit disappointed in KCP's play this year, and a lot of it has been due to plays like this one. And this one. Basically, he struggled a bit on the offensive end, but that's not what basketball is all about. There's a whole other side to it. There's the defensive end, and that's something KCP's actually done really well in. So he's not played as bad as people really think he has. For starters, he's just a pest on the defensive end. He kind of sticks to his man and irritates him and makes him really work to even go get the ball. Trey Young dropped 31 points on the Lakers, but when he was defended by KCP, he actually went 0 for 4. That's happened in other matchups. When KCP defended Buddy Heald, he went 0 for 2. When he defended Devin Booker, he also went 0 for 2. The opposing player sometimes ends up getting the ball, but that's not the point. The fact that he makes them work to even go get the ball tires them out and can make them end up missing their next shot. In fact, on off-ball screens, he's held opponents to 33.3% shooting. Because he plays so tied up on defense, if someone just throws a lazy pass, he's able to get the steal. As you'll see on these clips, he's also been pretty good on help defense. He's rotating over at the right times, making the right reads. KCP averages 1.4 deflections per game. He also averages 1.2 loose ball recoveries per game, which is third on the team. Watch here how he notices that Quinn Cook has a mismatch, so he makes him switch with him. Then Quinn Cook daps him up after. KCP's defense is so intimidating that sometimes plays like this happen. This season, KCP has held his opponents to 17.5% shooting from the three-point line. That's, that's pretty good. The Lakers in total have held opponents to 31.8% shooting from the three-point line. On just spot-up shots in general, he's held opponents to 35%, which on Synergy is rated very good. As much as he's really struggled on offense this season, he's really flipped the switch in the last three games. He's shot 54.5% on his three-point attempts. Most of the attempts are spot-up threes. The Lakers have had an offensive rating of 116.3 when he's on the court. When he's off the court, it's 108.9. He's also been doing a nice job of creating off of handoffs. Another thing is that his chemistry with LeBron is back, and he's been the recipient of a few touchdown passes.
In fact, the player that has received the most assists from LeBron in the last three games is Anthony Davis. Second is KCP. Like I said earlier, KCP's defense was always there. It was his offense that he was really struggling with. But lately, that's changed. And hopefully, for good. See you all next time. Have a good one.